<laughs> What's up guys, uh, so I'm gonna start doing a kind of like a side gig for our, for our channel. I'm gonna start showing you guys what I cook because I want to start cooking for people and selling my food because a lot of people like, like what I cook. So I'm gonna start putting it out there. I'm gonna start selling it. Unfortunately, we're in Florida right now, so everyone back at home, back home won't be able to try it, but when we go home, I'll try to do something for you guys. But for now, I'm gonna just I'm cooking for our four-year anniversary. So what I'm cooking is a uh, my kind of like a family recipe for my steaks. Only a few people know it. My dad taught me, and I'm also cooking um, uh, buttery garlic scallops and baked potatoes. So right now, what I'm doing is I'm cutting up uh, mushrooms and onions. This will be kind of like the, this will be the topping for the steak. And uh, I have some limes right here cut cut up, and that's part of the recipe for the for the scallops. I got the oil hot and ready, so when I'm done cutting this, I can put the scallops in. And I got the baked potatoes in the oven right now, and I have uh, butter on the other pan ready for the mushrooms and onion. So now I'm doing. I'm gonna put the the mushrooms and the onion in the pan, and then like just for tips, if you guys ever need to see. If the pan's hot, just put a little water in your hand and dip it and just toss it in there. Now I know it's hot, so I go ahead and put this in. Using it with some garlic powder. Don't be afraid of fucking flavor. I tell my lady that all the time. She's always afraid. She'd be like, that's it. Fucking <laughs> put that shit in there. And then put pepper. I like to put salt as well. People get so weird about it because there's already salt in the garlic powder. But that's flavored salt. And this is just regular salt. And then I put, after I put garlic powder, I also put minced garlic. I, I like using this one because it's already it's already chopped up, so you don't gotta chop it up. You could also use regular ones. You just gotta rinse it up real fine like that. Then mix it. There's already butter in the pan, but I like flavor. So I had a lot of everything. I'm a bitch. And here's the scallops, for those of you who don't know what scallops are. It's probably my favorite. What is it? I honestly don't know what it is. I think, I think it's squid. I'll look it up, I'll put it in. If you guys know what scallops are, let us know. So what you do is you just put them in there, kind of separate them a little bit, and cook them till they caramelize, and then flip them. And then once they're caramelized, go ahead and take them out and make the, the broth that you're going to cook them in. Because you don't want them to burn, because then if they burn, they'll, they won't be chewy anymore and they won't be able to hold the flavor. I used to go to culinary school, that's how I know how to cook. Also, I grew up cooking with my mom. So I got like, like the way I cook is from her, but my flavors is from my dad. Oh yeah. So we came up with the idea of calling it Mad Dog's Kitchen. So every time you see Mad Dog's Kitchen in the bio, it'll be like episode one, two, three. And I'll try, well obviously I'm gonna cook something different 
every time you guys see me cook, but it's not always gonna be some fancy shit. I might show you how I make my tuna, how I make my sandwiches, how I make haiwa. Eventually I'm gonna get a grill, so this shit looks like gonna be interesting. I've never, I've never smoked by myself. I always smoked shit with my dad. So hopefully I don't fuck it up. <laughs> so for those of you who aren't really used to cooking and aren't really used to your seasonings, if you're afraid that you'll make it too salty, try it as you go. Be like that. I want the whole thing to look like that. Usually everybody that tries Brian's food, <laughs> they're always like, Dan, this is bomb, or can you make me some? A lot of people didn't think I knew how to cook on the shit because I'd always invite them over to eat and they never wanted to come. And now ever since they started coming, they finally realized. That's why everyone comes all the time to our house and they're like, oh, are you gonna cook something? Cause they know. If you know, you know. It's fucking bomb. You know. The scallop, it's gonna have a, um, bacon, butter, heavy cream, parsley, salt, pepper, and garlic and lemon juice. How did I think of this? I don't fucking know. It just shit comes to my head and I just do it. I know he's very creative when it comes to making food. Rosemary parsley. Yeah, we got lucky with our seasoning. Oh, yeah. I got this at Costco, by the way. I haven't used it for the first time today. I'm also using coconut oil. If you're not a fan of coconut, then I recommend you don't use coconut oil because you can taste the coconut. If you are, go for it. It's also a healthier choice for oil. It's more natural, so it is natural. It takes about 10 minutes each to cook um, this mushroom, these mushrooms and onions, and also these scallops. The scallop dish, all in total, is probably gonna take like half an hour. Probably the same thing with the mushroom and with the steaks as well. Honestly, my steak probably takes like five minutes, but I have to cook hers all the way because she likes burnt food. You can, so the easy way to tell that the mushrooms and onions are ready is to get all like droopy and like super saggy or whatever the fuck you want to call it. Makes sense to me. Slimy. Yeah. Oh, you could also try them. If your flavor is not there, then keep adding whatever flavor you want until you get the flavor you want. But I know that shit's there. I'm fucking good. All right, so now I'm gonna add more butter because I'm getting ready to add the steaks. And um, butter and steak goes real well together. So yeah. I marinated this steak Saturday night. It's now Tuesday night. That's just gonna be juicy as fuck. I marinated it because that's my dad's recipe. It's kind of like our secret recipe. But, anyway. <laughs> I don't think I got that. <laughs> but, um, when I start exploring into different recipes, I'll let you guys know. Also, is there something you guys want to see me cook? Fucking comment. Yeah, let us know in the comment section below. I'll whip it up. I've been wanting to try new shit, that's why I did the scallops. See how they're getting gold? Like this one's almost ready. Okay, so now I'm gonna add the bacon. Um, I'm gonna put half of it for the scallops, and the other half is gonna be for the potatoes, so it's kinda like bacon bits. So it's kind of like uh, loaded baked potatoes. My way, my real way. So I'm not gonna cook them all the way, so like I'm gonna cook them not till they're super crunchy, crunchy, but kind of like have a little crisp but more chewy than crunchy. Tastes better that way. Don't hug me. <laughs> Wait. These are uh, ribeye steaks. They're fucking expensive. 
Are these the ones that your friend got? No. Oh. He got a uh, sirloin steak. Sirloin is kind of like cheap steak. Good, but it's cheaper. Also, when you're cooking, you want to keep a keep one hand dry and one hand wet. Your wet hand is usually what you touch the food with. Your dry hand is what you hold your utensils with. That way, it doesn't get messy. This is gonna be bomb. This gonna have that bacon flavor. Office is watery. I know, I'm so hungry. What I like about this also is that Penelope eats the food. <laughs> she likes everything. She's gonna have an option. I know. We want her to eat everything. Also, if you're a parent, don't give your kid an option with them. Just give it to them. to them. Yeah. And so if you if you personally are picky, suggest you don't eat in front of them and don't show them that you're well, picky. Well, they used to be picky. That's why I made her eat everything. Like she didn't like onions. We went to this spot called Benny Sushi back home in Paramount, and I got these stuffed onions with what are they stuffed with? Crab. They're stuffed with like crab and cheese and cream cheese and all that. And I told her that they were stuffed, they were stuffed bell peppers. She was like, oh, okay. So she ate three of them and I got four. I know. And after she ate them, I told her, those are onions. She was like, oh, it was good. I was like, oh, it was good. Onions are bomb. If we have never been to Petty Sushi, what are you doing? <laughs> Literally everyone goes there. Remember when they followed you? Yeah, they followed me. <laughs> I think it's because my friend works there. Oh, that guy, huh? Yeah. A long time ago? Honestly, I forgot his name. I'm sorry, but I'll find him. Been really busy lately. And I are the ones, the type of people that like to clean as you go. Yeah. I also learned this in culinary school. If you didn't, they yell at you. It's kind of like Chef Ramsey or the fuck his name is. Oh, yeah. They really yell at you. Like, they took it serious. Yeah? I would yeah. laugh because I was kind of like, just cooking what the fuck is wrong with you. But like, then I realized like, this is their career, this is their passion. So I'm kind of like, I'm not going to learn school anymore. I might piss one of them off because I'm laughing at them. Looking personal, it's just. That's how Brian is. If you can't take a joke, you can't be friends. <laughs> yeah. I talk a lot of shit. A lot of shit. Yeah, that's how Brian is, you guys. So don't take it personal. You guys put some fucking sal right here and chew it. Bomb. <laughs> Check on the potatoes. Check on them. Just grab one. Stab that bitch. This would be really soft. Super soft and good. It's not good. It's hard. Probably gonna take the longest. Potatoes are usually the ones who take long, huh? Yeah, that's why I like to start them before I start eating the most. Look at that juice. <laughs> How is it? Almost done. I'm gonna put some bacon on here. For the potatoes. back or the heat because it's already cooked all you want to do is warm it up it's 
see how they're kind of crunchy, but they're still chewy. Perfect. Like I said, don't be fucking scared. Put that bitch in there. If you're on a diet, don't put any of it, but I'm not. How would you make this um, meal healthy? No bacon, no butter. And use a... Uh, um, fucking instead of the butter, use white wine. I was gonna use white wine, but I don't know if Penelope could eat it. So I just didn't fuck with it. Oh, he's trying to get fancy, fancy for the anniversary. And we Wait, broke up. I know. <laughs> it's like a breakup dinner. Oh so my it doesn't God. hurt that much. He said four years is too long. Four years plus um, the one year that we've been married. Almost two. I know. That lemon looks really good. It smells good too, wow. So I'm gonna squeeze four, or basically half a lemon. Then the other half, I'm gonna set them in there. And we're gonna use those at the end to squeeze it on top of the meal. Cause they're gonna have all everything sucked into it right away. Bring that back up. What kind of flavor does Forsy give? Mm -hmm. Nope, but find out. <laughs> I've never cooked with parsley before. If you guys have a way of explaining the flavor, let us know, because I want to know. Seems right to put it in there, I guess. <laughs> that cook on high for a little bit. So we can uh, cook up the garlic. Brian's gonna audition for Chopped, so uh. Fucking lose. <laughs> <laughs> but like, they give. If you have never, if you have never watched Chopped, it's basically like a competition against um, chefs from like what, like when they have their own restaurants or like stuff like that, and they give you like certain ingredients, and then you just have to come up with a dish and you just cook it, so. I feel like you'll do good with the creativity and stuff. I feel like you'll be able to make something really good, actually. I bet you they'll talk shit about my flavor. Too salty. I feel like too salty. Yeah. Look who's awake. Hi. You had a good nap? Yeah. Yeah, say hi. Don't touch it, it's hot, mama. Holy shit. That's just fucking good. How am I? I don't know how I am anymore.
There's the result. Loaded baked potato, ribeye, and scallops. Hey everyone, hope you enjoyed. See you next episode. If you like it, subscribe. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see me cook something next, comment. Um, yeah.